Hi everybody, welcome to the most excellent Daisy Edit by Inclement Dab and his team. Um, and in this video, I want to show you how you can place items really accurately. Um, I'm no super expert on the uh, the Daisy Editor, but this is kind of what I've learned uh, while I've been using it. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to Editor Preferences, and you want to go to Camera, and you want to turn down the camera speed. You know, have it really low. Um, and that way, you know, when you move around, you'll be able to see what you're doing using WASD. Remember, if you press spacebar, you then go to the look around, don't you, where you can look around. And then when you press spacebar, you have to uh, click with your left mouse button and uh, right mouse button, sorry, and drag. Now, while you're in this mode, if you if you press shift, it will remove, move a little bit faster. And also the speed of the camera does depend on the assets that are on screen at the time. So if there's less assets, your camera will run slower than if there's... Um, will run faster than if there's lots. Right, let's get into placing objects now. So let's just spawn in a building. So let's go police. Oop, believe, police. So let's spawn in this police station here. So let's say we wanted to place this police station. You'll know that if you um, click on the blue, um, left click on the on the blue square, and then press, press and hold shift, and then move your mouse, left and right the building will turn won't it so so you can do that and then if you click and left left click and hold on the blue button and press alt and hold and move your mouse up and down you can move it up and down can't you so you can so you can check stuff but you can also um use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the building around which you can do quite accurately and if you press shift at the same time let's get a bit closer so you can see so if I press, so if I, I can move it using the arrow keys, and then if I press shift, it will move really, really slowly. In fact, I've got to get in close for you to see how fast it's moving. See, how so that's how, it's, so normal speed, and then press shift, going very, very slowly. So you can do stuff like, you know, uh, click and left click and hold on the blue box, press alt and hold, take it down, release the button, and then I can use the arrow keys with shift to move it very, very slowly. So we can move stuff like that. Now, the other trick, well not trick, technique, if you double left click on the blue box, you get the properties box open up. Now with this, we can alter the X, Y, and Z, so the latitude, longitude, and the altitude, um, simply by double clicking into the box, so for example, Y is the altitude, and then if we move our mouse wheel up and down, we can roll it up and down with our mouse wheel. And again, if you press and hold shift, it does it in smaller increments, so you can be more accurate. And also, you could simply type in the uh, box, and, and that saves it there. So again, you can just double-click in the next box, or click in the next box, and then we can roll our mouse wheel up and down, just to move it. Again, we can hold Shift to slow it down, so it does it in smaller increments, and then we can physically type it. And this goes for the roll pitch and your underneath. So if we double click in the middle one, for example, as you can see, we're tipping the building over, just rolling our mouse wheel. And then if we press shift, it will do it in much smaller increments. Like so. And let's do the, let's redo this one so we can tip the building. Again, we can press shift to slow that movement down. And then the most accurate way is to go in you know, and put we can put a little value in in there, so you can really accurately line stuff up. Um, I remember a really good practice is to click somewhere on the screen, press T to teleport your little helper there, press Home to bring him up. The my one's having a bit of a uh, bit, bit of a bad day today, I think, by the look of him. Oh, is he kind of yeah? And have a look round, you know. Obviously, this this structure isn't low enough. <laughs> this is. That, that step at the front, that, that wouldn't pass code, would it? You know, and go inside, you know, and we've got, you know, we've got this gap here. So, so that's not good enough. You don't always see this stuff when you're in the, kind of the editor view. And also when you're looking at stuff, you know, have a, have a good look around, have a good spin around. For example, what I've done here for some, someone on the private server has asked for um, a, uh, the, the, the bunkers from from tizzy like the garages from tizzy so what i've done is i've put them back to back um so because the, the back of the bunker normally backs into a mound um so what i've done is i've put um 
put them back to back and, and sort of got them lined up um, so that they're um, uh, so it's so it's like one big bunker. Now you can only get to kind of half of the bunker inside from each end, and the middle is like a void. But I thought it was quite cool. So in order to do that, you know, I had to go in and and, and gradually change things as well. Um, now the other so to kind of finish off what we'll do you'll see what i'm doing in here if we go inside so here we have a toilet that i'm placing so you know i'm inside a toilet so i've got to move stuff around very very slowly in here and you you know you you press and hold shift and then you move and and it's spinning around too fast isn't it so th this is where you tend to use your your arrow keys with the shift just to kind of get it into position check your clipping yeah, slowly move around like so so we can see he's off the ground now so we use alt to slowly bring it down see he's tipping over a little bit doesn't it so let's bring it down there let's double click on it let's tip it down let's tip it over a little bit so it matches the floor So doing probably needs to tip over a tiny little bit more. Something like that. Spawn our little fellow in. See what he thinks. He's like the building inspector, this guy. So that toilet looks alright, doesn't it? Open it up. Arguably it could come up a little bit because you're seeing the floor through. The, the bottom of the toilet but not too not too bothered um now I'm, to share to finish off i'm going to show you something that you could do as well all right um let's go in and let's let's spawn in Z M B H. Now, I'm not sure how stable this will be. Okay. But we're going to have a bit of fun with this zombie. Now, when you spawn in a zombie in the game, what happens is they're, um, they, they haven't got any AI associated with them, or they shouldn't have any AI associated with them. So they tend to not do much. So we're going to get him close to the toilet. There we go. So he's in the toilet now. And then what we'll do, we'll just move a little bit closer. Right, so now what we'll do, just double click on his box and then we'll adjust things here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take him down. Move, move him forward a little bit. In fact, let's just take him up a little bit more. So we can see him. Right, so he's forward a little bit there, isn't he? So now we need to rotate him a little bit. comes now i'm not sure whether he may well just fall through the map if we do this but it's given us a bit of practice isn't it of stuff so he's there now let's oh that's almost perfect that and then let's play around with his altitude let's hold shift I think that's about perfect, isn't it? Let's go back to our fella. Now, I haven't tested this, so I don't know whether it's going to work or not, so you'll have to give it... So the idea with this is... So we'll come on up to the toilet, open it up. Oh, my God, there's a... <laughs> <laughs> there's a head in the toilet all right but you'll have to test it see if it works does it work i've got no idea but i thought i'll put that in just as a as a bit of practice and i don't think the person i'm doing this for 
will particularly want that there. So let's get rid of the land tizzy police station. And remember, as you're doing stuff, file, save, well, save as first and give the project a name and then save it as you go along. That way, if anything breaks or the game crashes, you can come back to the project. So hopefully that gives you some ideas about how you can move stuff around slowly and accurately and place things accurately within Daisy Editor. If you found the video useful, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.